thank you so much for being a blessing to the body of Christ and allowing me to be able to share my heart so that we can all come into agreement for the fulfillment of it. What the Lord really put on my heart to do, first and foremost, is to create the Cross-Eyed album. I want to be able to have all the top Christian artists on there, including myself, make a Christian rap slash different genre compilation of all the songs on the Cross of Christ, remakes from old school hymnal beats into new rap beats with the best musical talent, the most excellence, and it being the top Christian album in the world, being able to save millions of souls and lots of people sharing it with their friends, and it really just edifying the body of Christ. The other thing I want to be able to do is make an application. Not just any application, but an application for Android, iPhone, iPad, computer, Mac, everything called Battle Sword. Now, what's going to go into this Battle Sword is for every situation, for every tempting situation, almost like God's game plan, just like Jesus was able to combat Satan whenever Satan would tempt him with certain things. He would have the Word of God to come back. And so this is going to be called the Battle Sword application. Now, it's going to have prayers, scriptures, confessions. They're going to be personalized. You can put your own name in there, and it'll have your name on it for all the different personalized ones. And you'll be able to put your name on the onset of it and replace it whenever you want. Um, there's also going to be apologetics in there uh, for evangelizing. When people ask all the different types of questions, it's going to be a huge database. It's like gotquestions.org, but it's going to be offline and available to everyone. The other thing I want to do is something called Christian Mind Maps. Now, a mind map is a way of mapping out your radiant thinking. It's how the brain works. And combining that with the Word of God, we'll be able to retain the most from the Word of God and apply it to our lives. Now, this isn't going to be just Christian Mind Maps, which I've been doing for a while. We already have a bunch of books on there and concepts, including Best Bible Translations, as well as The Cross of Christ in Philippians 4.8. Thoughts that are pure, noble, praiseworthy, true, and excellent. I've also been able to interview authors like Andrew Womack and working on interviewing Joseph Prince and Randy Alcorn, who wrote Heaven, as well as a bunch of other authors as well. And I personally would like to have um, these specific concepts mind mapped out and eventually published in the books. I can either do them myself or work with other people doing it. One is the keys of to people, using proverbial wisdom and dealing with people. Another one is Jesus is my best friend, going over a study of friendship and how we can actually appropriate Jesus as our best friend. Another one is confess the truth, which is going to be taking someone from basically level zero to level 12. And it's going to go over the power of words. It's going to go over the credibility of the word of God and how that's the most powerful words. The power of life and death is in the tongue. It's going to go over basically all of the different modern-day parables and explaining the gospel. Uh, it's going to have the different ways that people use to evangelize, like in Way of the Master and what Mark Cahill does, and just having the concepts basically saying, oh, you know, if you were going to go to a judge and you ran a red light on the way there and you murdered someone, but you didn't do a U-turn where you weren't supposed to it, just because you were that good, doesn't mean that you get off if you break one part of the law. It's all the part of the law that you break. We all need Jesus! So it's something like that, a chapter that has all that different stuff. And then also we're going to have God's heart towards you. We're going to have uh, combating negative thinking, speaking the word. Also being able to declare the word of God. We're going to have a huge list of declarations and we're also going to have a place on heavenly treasures and rewards and uh, basically what the Bible says about that and we're going to interview people with that. So I want to also have all these books on applications. Uh, you know, another one is Restoration of the Temple, uh, being able to get people physically fit, mentally fit, and uh, just spiritually fit. And then Philippians, of course, 4, 8, where we have True Noble Praiseworthy. And those are all going to be books that I'm going to do. And also want to have a Christian publishing company, uh, combine forces with them and get other people to submit books to them. And then also Power Prayer application. Um, one of the really cool things that I was able to build and what this is actually going out on and through and with 
It's called bestprayerrequest.com, or the Power Prayer Empire Application Community. Uh, what we're doing is we're combining all the prayer ministries and using biblically formatted prayer forms available in every language to send out to all the different people having a prayer Wikipedia YouTube channel on praying, praying with authority. And this is going to be available on all the different applications. Right now it's available as a web app. You can just go to bestprayerrequest.com. And uh, we also want to have the global prayer meeting and want to be able to be putting out some more powerful cooler looking videos for the power prayers you can check out our channel at youtube.com slash the power prayers t-h-e-p-o-w-e-r-p-r-a-y-e-r-s also want to be able to have groups that i lead bible studies on digging into the promises of god and working on the power prayer network uh, having a rap lyric writing group uh, being able to teach how to do lyrics and writing, and especially for my record label, Eternal Ruler Records, and also pray for the success of that, where we're able to sing a new song unto the Lord and find artists who are talented and want to be able to sing to the Lord. That'll bless and edify the body of Christ and get sinners saved. Um, also want to be able to have a conglomeration of web designers and programmers and search engine optimizers, as well as Christian video gaming and futuristic programmers to really go ahead and upgrade a lot of the ministries online and be the top Christian tech media team and being able to do that. And I want to be able to upgrade lots of people's websites. I want to help them out. I want to do a lot of pro bono work and basically just get people connected and, and use these skills we have of website creation for God's glory. And I also want to be able to lead intercessory prayer with a microphone consistently weekly so wherever that is going to show up in my life I just know it's going to happen uh, just leading prayer praying with authority with agreement with a bunch of people So what I want to see happening also what I really want to be able to do is be a youth pastor I want to do concerts I want to be able to speak to people all over the world uh, save millions of souls I also want to be able to do God's will you know, going to the hospitals, visiting in the prisons, and getting the Father's Love Letter, fatherslovelitter.com, getting that letter to all the prisoners in every prison worldwide in every language, as well as all the elderly homes, all the orphanages, all the hospices, and really connecting with those people who are in there. I like to, something I want to do worldwide is this thing called Hope Saturdays where you go to a hospital or hospice, an orphanages, prison, and an elderly home. Hope. That's something I want to be able to start all over the world. Um, you know, maybe we could do it once a month, maybe we could do it every week, but that's something I definitely want done. We could pray for that. And uh, just something that I really want to be able to do is share all my different visions when I get them effectively and being able to get the team together, get the vision rolling, getting people on it, working on it for the Lord, visions that the Lord gives me. I want to have a green screen. I want to be able to do vision casting and asking people for help. I want to have supernatural favor with people and being able to help me, uh, being able to request, and really just being able to be a master of the English language, increasing my vocabulary, increasing my uh, just persuasiveness in being able to get people to be saved. I know that it's not by persuasive words, but it's by the power of God. Therefore, I want to be able to have that power of God. I really want to do this. This is what I want to do. Supernatural ability with words, knowing the right words at the right time to say, from embedded commands to all this neurolinguistic programming. I want to have knowledge of all this and use this for the glory of God. I also want to be able to do this Christian bumper sticker ministry. I also want to have a glass... Uh, water bottle that has powder coat on it where it's going to have all the different power words like righteousness and all the different best words um, custom clothing line for Christians basically what I want to be able to do is walk the ro royal way all of my life like Brother Andrew said in God Smuggler and um, another website with all the different best Christian testimonies and the bottom line is I stand on the scriptures that God said he's going to bless me and make my name famous so that I can be a blessing, dispensing good to others all around the world. And 
I believe it with all my heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Also, what I want to be able to do is have 40 million emails. And um, I really want to be able to have uh, the gospel as well as how to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Another thing is how to be filled with the Holy I want to be able to interview all the top Christian authors uh, for the Christian Mind Maps. But for how to be filled with the Holy I want to interview all the top experts on the credibility of the Word of God, prophecy. Um, it's just going to be an awesome database for the fruits of the Spirit, gifts of the Spirit, hearing the Holy Spirit, and uh, walking in the power of the Holy Spirit, supernatural miracles and testimonies. Uh, they're all going to be on how to be filled with the Holy Spirit dot com. It's going to be one of the most amazing Christian resources. And then I want, also want to do and upgrade all the different websites, make them the best they could possibly be, just extremely clean web 3.0 style, and being able to have all of the different websites top of the line, having lots of people working for me, uh, just unlimited funding for all the different stuff we're doing and paid advertising on YouTube, Google, all the different places, just like the Mormons are doing, but having it for Christ-centered things, getting actually people saved and filled with the Holy Spirit instead of confused, and being able to open up the door to helping street ministries and ministers, um, you know, providing people who are going out with Bibles, uh, helping the Gideons Association get that Bible out. Um, yeah, just providing the Word of God and also being able to mind map the entire scriptures. I want to have people who are mind mapping the each different book of the Bible. Um, one of the ones I want to do personally is Proverbs. Um, and also what I really want to be able to do is get the um, gum company going super good that has all the different flavors of gum, and I want to have Bible verses inside the wrappers, like little Bible fortune gum cookies. And what I really want to be able to do is have um, fun. I want to have the joy of the Lord. I want to do all things for the glory of Christ and just have the most joy. And I truly want to be able to have the ability to hear the Holy Spirit in every given situation. So I know what his input is, you know. And just the, the faith and the boldness to trust him. Say no to people to know his will versus pleasing people and to do what it is that he's called me to do. Um, basically, I want to do God's will. And I believe these are all different expressions of God's will. Uh, just being able to save souls effectively. Different business ideas, different ministry ideas. That's what this all boils down to. And I also want to do what God's called us to do as husbands in Ephesians. I want to be that Ephesians 5 man to my wife. And I want to be able to be all that it is that she needs me to be. And just do the best thing, which is love. Do the love there on a daily basis. Do First Corinthians 13. Walk in love. But everything I do be based out of love. That is what I truly want to do. In Jesus' name, amen.